Do you think Brock Lesnar is a lazy worker? If you think so, then this video is gonna just change your perception about Brock Lesnar big time. Today we will be ranking and breaking down the best Brock Lesnar matches in WWE. Watch this video till the very end so that you don't have to watch 4 hours of Brock Lesnar's matches. Number 10 Brock Lesnar vs John Cena vs Seth Rollins at Royal Rumble 2015 Listen up, when Brock Lesnar sells for his opponent, he makes his opponent look like a million dollars and that's what it did with Seth Rollins. This match had the usual antics like Lesnar throwing Cena and Rollins like a ragdoll with his German suplexes, Cena hitting his shoulder tackles and five knuckle shuffles and Seth Rollins playing a cocky heel because it's 2015. Seth Rollins took out Brock Lesnar with a diving elbow on the announcer's table and it apparently broke Brock Lesnar's ribs. Seth Rollins hit his super kicks, the enziguries, the buckle bombs, the phoenix splashes on John Cena but he couldn't keep him down. And after the Phoenix Splash, Brock Lesnar just came out of nowhere, gave German suplexes to Cena and Rollins. Rollins hit Lesnar with the Money in the Bank briefcase because in 2015, at the time, Rollins was the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. But Lesnar caught him with an F5 and pinned Seth Rollins for the win. This was a classic of a triple threat match. The fact that Lesnar just came out of nowhere with his broken ribs was insane and it shows the match. And Brock Lesnar is. Ranking at number 9, Brock Lesnar vs Goldberg at WrestleMania 33. Now this match made the list purely because of the story Lesnar and Goldberg were able to tell. Goldberg made his big triumphant return to WWE after 12 years at Survivor Series and defeated Lesnar in about 90 seconds. And no one expected Goldberg to squash Lesnar like that. To put the icing on the cake, Goldberg eliminated Brock Lesnar at Royal Rumble. At Fastlane, Goldberg won the WWE Universal title from Kevin Owens in about 2 minutes. Lesnar finally challenged Goldberg to a Universal title match at WrestleMania in what had to be a banger of a match. Maybe it was just 10 minutes but right off the gate Lesnar hit German suplexes and then Goldberg hit his spears. In a 9 minute match, Lesnar finally hit 10 consecutive suplexes and a F5 for the win. It was not the best wrestling match but it was thoroughly entertaining because of the story they were able to tell during this entire feud. Ranking at number 8, Brock Lesnar vs John Cena at SummerSlam 2014. How can you not like this match? I mean... John Cena, the World Heavyweight Champion at the time faced off Brock Lesnar and this match was epic. John Cena started off on the offense but Brock took him down and it was just a Lesnar all the way after that initial offense by Cena. In a 15 minute match, John Cena was able to go on the offense for hardly 2 minutes and Brock Lesnar hit like 15 German suplexes. Lesnar just wanted Cena to quit this match and he was asking the ref to check on Cena and eventually Brock had enough of Cena and hit the F5 to end the match and win the World Heavyweight Championship. Lesnar just decimated John Cena and no one had done that for years. I mean no one has squashed John Cena like how Lesnar did in 2014. This match was tough to watch for Cena fans but Brock Lesnar's fans were just rejoicing and it was a brutal squash. Ranking at number 7 Brock Lesnar vs John Cena at Extreme Rules 2012. From one brutal squash to one of the brutal matches in the history of WWE after they turned PG. Brock Lesnar had just returned to WWE after his run at UFC and he looked better than ever. What I loved about this match was Brock Lesnar was not the same guy from 2004. Everyone expected him to go technical because Brock Lesnar is an wrestler, amateur wrestler, NCAA champion. And in 2004, he used to do that. But Brock Lesnar had got his MMA skills with him now in 2012. These two went head on with each other and Cena was bloodied in a couple of minutes. It started to sink in for the fans that Brock Lesnar will have no remorse for his opponents and this was needed for WWE at the time. 
Brock Lesnar brought that big monster feel and WWE just struck gold when they brought in the UFC version of Brock Lesnar to WWE. John Cena was finally able to hit the attitude adjustment on the steel steps to pick up the hard fought win which to this day many fans question the ending of the match. Why didn't Brock Lesnar just win the match? Lesnar losing was not a big problem at all because Lesnar had shown what he is capable of in the match itself. Ranked at number 6, Brock Lesnar vs Kurt Angle at WrestleMania 19. Right off the gate, this was gonna be the best match on the card. Kurt Angle the heel concentrated on Lesnar's injured ribs by hitting suplexes throughout the match but Lesnar still found a way to always come back by hitting a F5 which Angle kicked out. In the final moments of the match Lesnar hit a big 5 and went for the shooting star press which he unfortunately landed on his neck which gave him a big concussion. Still Lesnar got up and we all know what a crazy athlete he is. He gave an F5 to Kurt Angle for the pinfall win. It was an awesome moment for Brock Lesnar. And Kurt Angle embraced Lesnar in a mark of sportsmanship to close out an amazing WrestleMania 19. I mean, it is one of the best WrestleManias ever. We are into the top 5 now and if you have reached this far, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. <laughs> Ranking at number 5, Brock Lesnar vs CM Punk no disqualification at SummerSlam 2013. This was one of the best matches of Brock Lesnar and CM Punk's career, no doubt at all. And the feud was built on the banks of Paul Heyman. And when a feud is built so well and the match is also delivered with excellent storytelling, the result is Brock Lesnar vs CM Punk. Lesnar obviously used his power and Punk had to rely on his speed to thwart that offense of Lesnar. But whenever Punk turned his focus to Paul Heyman, Lesnar hit back. And that was the entire story throughout this feud. And that turned out to be the eventual downfall for CM Punk in this match. CM Punk, as he does, he found ways to come back the onslaught from Brock Lesnar. It was a back and forth match. And for a brief moment, I thought that CM Punk would pull off the upset win over Brock. But finally, Brock Lesnar hit a couple of chair shots and an F5 to seal the deal. And it was a wild dog fight and certainly one of the top matches of Lesnar and CM Punk's career no doubt whatsoever ranked at number four brock lesnar versus roman reigns at wrestlemania 31 many people just remember this match for the heist of the century cash in by seth rollins but before that cash in brock lesnar and roman reigns had an absolute war in the ring that night roman reigns in 2015 was obviously booed and every time he would muster up some moves the crowd just boos in spite of Roman Reigns being a babyface. Half of the match was Brock Lesnar decimating Roman Reigns and Reigns was smiling after a couple of suplexes. Roman Reigns always tried to come back with the Superman punches and spears to limit the attack of Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns was booked insanely strong as he kicked out of 5 F5s in this very match. And you all know what happened next. Seth Rollins came out to a thunderous reaction and he cashed in the money in the bank contract, stomped Roman Reigns in the end and stole, literally stole the WWE Championship and everyone was booked perfectly in this match. It was a wild dogfight between Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns and finally Seth Rollins cashing in the money in the bank contract. It was an incredible way to end a WrestleMania. Ranked at number 3, Brock Lesnar vs AJ Styles Survivor Series 2017. A dream match became a reality and it was a treat for wrestling fans all around the globe. Brock Lesnar vs AJ Styles, two people who haven't crossed paths ever, faced off in this epic dream match and typical of every Lesnar match Brock Lesnar just manhandled AJ Styles with the big German suplexes and many feared it would be a brutal squash. AJ Styles came back, hit a flurry of offense, attacked Lesnar's knee and gained momentum. AJ Styles went for the Styles clash but was countered by Brock Lesnar as he picked him for the F5 
but AJ Styles countered that and placed Lesnar into a calf crusher submission making Brock go red. It was incredible counter for counter moves and Brock Lesnar eventually broke free by repeatedly bashing AJ Styles head on the canvas. AJ Styles finally goes for the phenomenal forearm, gets caught by Brock Lesnar into an F5 and Lesnar pins him for the win. One epic clash between two legends of the game and I am really happy that I got to witness this match and narrate it to you guys. Number 1 and number 2 was the most difficult for me to rank but still ranked at number 2 Brock Lesnar vs Daniel Bryan Survivor Series 2018. Two dream matches in two years when the new Daniel Bryan won the WWE title from AJ Styles Daniel Bryan vs Brock Lesnar became a reality and my god what a match it was. In spite of the minimal build, this was an instant classic. Again, Lesnar absolutely decimated Daniel Bryan for the first 10 minutes to the point it was uncomfortable to watch. It was similar to Lesnar vs Cena at uh, SummerSlam 2014. But uh, Bryan hit one low blow and followed it up with a running knee just to come back into the match and it was Daniel Bryan on the offense after that with yes kicks to the knee, with running knees, with suicide dives, all the moves he could muster. Brock Lesnar tried for another F5 but his knee gave up because of that repeated attacks to his knee and Brian locked in the yes lock and I love when Brock Lesnar goes red when he is put into any submission. I really do. I don't know why. Finally Brock Lesnar breaks free of the yes lock, hits the F5 for the win. I mean it was a wonderful match. They both sold exceptionally well for each other. Paul Heyman played a great decoy with his expressions and when Brock Lesnar trusts someone and he sells for someone then boy he does an amazing job at that. Finally ranked at number 1 Brock Lesnar vs Eddie Guerrero at No Way Out 2004. And when you talk about the best matches of Brock Lesnar, how can you miss this one? One of the most celebrated moments in wrestling history is Eddie Guerrero's crowning moment as he became the WWE Champion at No Way Out. And you got to remember one thing, back in the days, wrestling industry was a big man's game. Most of the WWE Champions were all big dudes and Eddie Guerrero's win actually gave some hope for the young and upcoming talent and talking about this match it was a spectacular one which ended in the underdog winning over the big man. Brock Lesnar obviously controlled the initial minutes of the match but again similar to Daniel Bryan's match Eddie Guerrero also attacked the knee of Brock Lesnar which slowed him down. Eddie Guerrero repeatedly attacked Brock Lesnar's knee and placed him in the STF and then a string of submissions on his knee. In the end Brock Lesnar went for an F5 which took the referee down, Goldberg runs in and spears Lesnar and Eddie Guerrero pins post the spear but Lesnar kicks out. Lesnar then again goes for the F5 but Eddie Guerrero counters it with a DDT onto the WWE title. Then Eddie Guerrero hit his famous frog splash on Brock Lesnar to win the WWE Championship in what is the most celebrated moments in wrestling history. The crowd went absolutely crazy after his win but unfortunately we never got to see more amazing matches of Eddie Guerrero as he sadly passed away a year later in 2005. So if you still think Brock Lesnar is a lazy worker then I think you should just quit watching wrestling and just go do something else. As usual subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next one.